Alrighty, let's see. And do this. This. Three, two, one. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to some more Sky Factory here with Daku. And uh, let's see. I know last time I told you guys that we're going to talk about the harvester and the planter. But I think that today's episode is a little bit more important. So we're going to talk about power and how to make an unlimited amount of power. And by doing that, what we're going to do is making an un unlimited source of lava. Now we know, well, we did know. I took down the crucible because uh, it's going <laughs> to require what we're going to do now. Uh, we know that if you take cobble and put it un in the crucible, put a heat source right underneath it, light that heat source on fire you're going to get lava. But you can actually use lava for a lot of power generating, not only for the smeltery, but also for other generators as well. And so what we're going to do today is actually going to require us to make a, let's see, let me get some more blocks to build out here, is going to require us to make a, uh, a widget, a widget digit, huh? <laughs> what we're going to do today is going to require us to make a unlimited source of lava. That way we can have an unlimited source of power. Uh, so I'm going to build out right here just enough. Da, 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 da. All right, let's see. Come on. Build out right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use that transfer node. Da, 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 da. All right, let's see. So some things you're going to need. You're going to need crucibles. If you don't know how to make a crucible, it's pretty simple. You need to make an unfired crucible using porcelain clay, which uses clay and bone meal. After last uh, episode, we ended up with a lot of leftover clay and I have a lot of bones so pretty easy to, for me to make a bunch of those generators are pretty loud right now uh, pretty easy for me to make a crucible if you can't make a crucible um, it's not going to be hard for you to gather up the materials um, as long as you have an infinite water source which you should get pretty early on um, uh, what else you're gonna need you could just simply use this uh, transfer node. I'm going to make a second transfer node to either connect to this chest or to a uh, to the top of that block. I'm not sure if it will work with the top of that block. But I'm going to go ahead and make another transfer node. Let's see how do we do this. Backspace buddy. Transfer nodes. Uh -huh. We need Oh, if we have an ender, I should have ender pearls. As a matter of fact, I should have ender pearls somewhere around, and several of them. Dang it! Good thing those can be picked up. Uh, in one of these few chests, I should have. Okay, there we go. Might as well make a few uh, nodes, and we need the chests. We have wood. We ought to have wood. We have rubber wood. Just enough rubber wood. Never mind. Not enough rubber wood. <laughs> Not enough rubber wood. Dang it. Okay. Uh, I should have somewhere around here. I should have more wood. Let's see. Draw the love. Fiddle D. There you go. Spruce. I knew I had wood somewhere in these few chests. Uh, all right, make a chest. Boom. And let's see, stone, stone. Right. Let's see, transfer node to make four. To make four. Right. Oh dang it! No. Hold on. I ought to have another. There's got to be another redstone somewhere around. There we go. Okay. Panic mode, guys. Panic mode. 
All right, let's see. Boom, boom. I want you in my room. Da 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 the hell? Oh, I forgot to put the pearl in. I was like, why is that not working? Okay, so we got four ender, or four transfer nodes now. So we'll take this with us, and uh... All right, I'm gonna see if I can first connect it to the top here. And then... Put this up. Uh, I probably need to put it up one more, huh? Put it up one more. Jeez Louise, that scared me. <laughs> I need to plant some more saplings. Look at all these saplings, guys. Look at all that. Look at all those saplings. All right. Uh, now we need... Actually, I wonder if I have any more nether stone or netherrack. Because netherrack can stay on fire. Do I have netherrack in here? No, but I do have redstone. Netherrack in here? No. No. Okay. I guess we'll just do one for now. We will just do one for now. Right there. Flint. I swear, guys. <laughs> one of these days I'm going to be somewhat prepared. Uh, let's see, put the crucible there, right? Right, I believe so. Alright, where's my transfer notes? Alright, should, should work like that, right? No. Because it's all focused on this. Okay. That's why I, I, that's that's why we have a backup plan, guys. That's why we still need a transfer node, and we'll attach it to this chest. Not like that, like that. And we'll probably need to make more. Is that working now? That is not working. How is that not working? What did I do wrong? Oh no, it is. It is working. It's slowly working. So I can still... I could either just straight up attach it to this and get rid of this, but then I wouldn't have any cobblestone left over. It would just go straight into this. That's why I have it here so that way I can still open this, take cobblestone whenever I do need cobblestone. But uh, whatever is left over pretty much goes into these tanks here. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and just build this straight across. And I will need to make some more transfer pipes. Let's see. Transfer pipes. Takes aluminum ingots, glass, and redstone. Is there any way to make them? No. There's not. There is not. So while I'm doing this, I might as well talk to you guys. Today was my first day working at Amazon, and uh, it was pretty good. I, uh, it was better than I expected. I was, I'm happy to be a part of a company like this, and it's uh, it's pretty cool. Um, it's pretty unique, too. <laughs> Probably the best part is, is that you can dress up casual. <laughs> there is no uniform. Uh, so I'm probably going to be walking in with Hawaiian shirts and uh, slippers anyways. But it's nice. It's nice to uh, be part of a company that's like that. It's pretty fun. Um, I look forward to working for Amazon. 
Um, unfortunately, it's a seasonal thing, but the good news is that they said that they have a good com. There's a good chance that we're all going to be converted, meaning that there's a good chance we're all going to become uh, part time or full time, not just seasonal. Uh, let's see here. Let's go into this. Now, am I only going to get one ore from that? Aluminum. Aluminum. There should be. Take a bucket out. We'll just transfer these over for now. All right, let's see here. Um, we need that thing is full with lava, huh? Yeah, basically four buckets worth of lava is in there. Wonder if you add another transfer node like this, it'll go. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I need. I think that's it. I think that's. Yeah, that's it. We're going to call this for the episode, guys. That's pretty much how you make an automatic lava farm or lava generator. Just connect it to either the original source block for the cobble, or you can do like I did to connect it connect it to a chest that we can still get cobble whenever you need to do whatever you feel best um, this is I guess an, a simpler way there are other ways that you can do this using fluid inductors and using the uh, crescent wrench that I talked about you don't have to do that I simply find this a little bit easier straight to boom boom um, a little unsightly but we'll get more into wireless power when we get to there but uh, thanks again, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And next time, we will definitely talk about this stuff right here. Take care, guys. I'll see you then.